Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. Today I will be decluttering and organizing my closet. So stay tuned if you like to watch motivational cleaning videos. To make it easier on myself, I decided to start with only half of my closet, just taking everything out of the shelves. And here is my son helping me. He finds all the little things that I missed. One thing that I want to point out is that basket I have right there in my hands is actually full of pads. I did not buy them and I do not plan on buying them once I'm done with all these pads. These were gifted to me by my mother. Finally, I have made some progress and I have empty shelves which I will clean down with my homemade vinegar spray. Now that I finished wiping down all the shelves, I just cleared out the floor and vacuumed. Now that my closet looks half clean, this is what my room looks like. Meanwhile, I was cleaning, my son took pads out of that basket and threw them around the room. I'm really happy that I decided to do this decluttering and organizing. It was becoming difficult to find clothes in my closet. I would forget what I had in my closet and when I would try to put something on, it wouldn't fit me or it was something that I didn't want anymore.
as you guys are gonna see i went through almost every single shirt unfolding and refolding it just so i could make sure that i wanted to donate or keep the shirt Even though it seems like I only have a few pairs of jeans, I own over 30 to 40 pairs of jeans. I did not buy a single one of them. My sister, she donates all of her clothes to me that she doesn't want anymore. And it's been that way ever since we were little. It's really nice having an older sibling that is almost the same size as you because you don't have to buy clothes anymore. A zero waste tip that I have is instead of buying your clothes new, definitely try secondhand. If you don't feel comfortable going to a thrift shop right now, ask a, a friend, ask a family member, anyone that you feel comfortable with. Ask them to go through their donate pile. This is why it took me almost three days to clean out my closet and my room. <laughs> Being a mom, you don't have the choice but to soothe your baby when they need it. As you guys can see, I was moving around these baskets multiple times just so I can see how they would function with how I put clothes on. And then I decided to leave that metal shelf open so I can put my makeup there later on. So here I'm just showing you that I'll be working on this side of my closet next. I have a lot of work to do looking through all my different blouses and sweaters and cardigans. I also started taking out all these different baskets that hold my swimsuits and bras. I actually don't wear bras anymore so all these things are going inside of a big storage container and I'll be putting that down in my basement. Not only did I put away those items, I had previously to filming put away my summer clothes. When I took my summer clothes out of my closet, I left all of these hangers, so that's what's taking me so long, is going through and pulling out all these empty hangers. Now, I have a confession to make. This is not the following day. This is actually two days later because I lost the motivation to clean and the good part is i came back to it and i didn't leave my room a huge mess so again i have my little helper and my service dog is actually helping me out as well I had so many hangers that I took out of my closet and it's crazy to think at one point in time every single one of those hangers had a piece of clothing on them and I remember not so many months ago I had to go buy more hangers.
one of the final things that I had left to do is finding clothes that needed to be hung up and putting them on hangers and hanging them up. So that's what I'm doing here. Once I was done with those items that were left over on the floor, I went through my shoes and that's when I realized that I had many pairs that I had not used in years and then I decided just to donate them. I know it may look like I was telling my son to be quiet, but I was not, I promise. He recently learned to do that, so I was just repeating what he was doing. So what you're looking at here is almost the final results. On the left, that for the most part is done, but on the right hand side, I still need to remove a few of those items so I can put my makeup in. Ever since my son started to walk and climb, he has been getting onto our dresser and damaging all of my makeup. So I definitely needed a new place to store my makeup high and where he couldn't reach it. And here I'm showing you guys a magazine from 1949 that my son tore up. And I have another one from the 60s and I bought these while I was living in Japan. This is what my room looks like after almost finishing my closet. I have hangers everywhere thanks to my son. I have still a lot of work to do and I'm losing motivation, but I know that this is the home stretch. So I'm just picking up all of these hangers and putting them away. I may actually sell some of them just because I don't plan on buying any clothes new. I may buy a few things secondhand if I get a thread up gift card for Christmas, but I guess I'll just have to wait and see. Now I am taking care of my makeup, making everything look nice just so I can transfer it over to my closet a little bit easier. One of the most wasteful aspects that I used to do is buying makeup. I was a hoarder when it came to makeup. I bought everything brand new. I bought the latest palette. I would buy the latest foundation. And here, this is all left over from about a year to five years worth of buying. I have not bought anything recently. And once I am done with my products, I do plan on buying sustainable and zero waste options. A little bit ago, I showed you guys a powder. It ran out. It was a Kat Von D powder and I decided to make my own powder using arrow powder or arrowroot powder. So that's one of the switches that I've made so far. I'm just trying to use up everything that I have so I don't waste anything. Makeup companies actually put a little number of how long their makeup is good for until it expires. 
I do not follow that number. I just smell and test out my makeup and you can definitely tell when something's expired because the texture or the smell will be off. So I go through my makeup as often as I can, just testing it out and smelling it. I have finally gotten to the point when I can transfer over my makeup. Even though I have all this makeup, just remember I did not purchase this when I became zero waste. This was since years ago. On the bottom shelf, I decided to add my hair items later on in the video. Despite having getting rid of many items of clothing, I still wanted to have the appearance of having a full closet, so I just decided to space out the hangers evenly. It is so important to fully clean your room when you get the chance to because ask yourself how often is it that your room gets fully cleaned? For me, it's not that often so when I do take the opportunity to clean out my closet or to clean out my room, I fully deep clean it. Those decorations there on my wall, I collected along my travels in Asia. I lived in Japan for two years and I lived in Korea for a month and a half. And there goes my little helper. He was playing peekaboo with my husband's closet curtains. That mirror right there in the corner is actually a jewelry box holder thing. I got it secondhand from my sister, actually. She got this one that was kind of broken when she ordered it, and instead of throwing it away, she asked me if I wanted it, and of course, I accept most things secondhand. This is all that remained left to do to clean my room. I had to re-sort the hangers thanks to my son and I had to bag up everything nicely to donate. You 
usually when I am cleaning, I like to watch motivational cleaning videos or motivating tips and just about anything to help me get through cleaning. I took a little break to breastfeed my son because he was feeling a little tired and hungry. And here I am, just the three of us. He stopped feeding and decided to play with our dog. And I am continuing because it seems so tedious and so long. I am so tired. And this is why it took me until the evening to finish. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I like to mop in pieces instead of the entire area. Does anyone else mop like this? Let me know down below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and bye, peace and love. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.